guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. I have long been anticipating getting this desk. This is my L-shaped desk that I've been talking about in videos as I prep my area here for it. Um, I finally got it, like just now, just today. And I am excited to build it. However, when it was dropped off, uh, by the courier there was some damage to the box due to COVID there was no signature required which I don't know how that corresponds to liabilities uh, but I wanted to have this on video I have taken photos as well um, but there is a bit of damage here there's a, a ding there. This is a big uh, hole. And there is a damage down here as well. Hopefully, it is nothing but box and packing that got hurt. But this is glass and metal. <laughs> so, uh, if, it, if it took an impact, I hope the glass is fine. So I wanted to do this on video, so I have proof of anything going wrong uh, to fight with the company or the courier or whoever is going to rectify it. This thing is major heavy. It's about 65 pounds. 65 pounds according to the courier. So. Uh, let me get this bottom. Yeah, he was like, it only looks like it's 10 pounds till I picked it up. Because sometimes they lie about the weight. Okay. Guess they didn't this time. Okay, so. Uh, lay it down. Are we still in frame here? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. This is also an unboxing, guys. Wow. There is a manual where it belongs. A manual, a, a build thing with numbers and Um, Are you doing an assembly video? Yes, I am. That could take several hours, but she will squash it down smaller and do some oh, yeah. <laughs> stuff. Same as I did with the decluttering of the file box. Um, I won't torture you with it, the entirety of it, but I wanted to do a bit of an assembly video simply because I have not found a review on this desk. 
I have not found an assembly video on this desk. Well, not first ever on YouTube. It anybody, should go viral. Anybody else that orders this desk is going to be like, what do, gonna, I do? what do I do? How do I do this? I'll show you. <laughs> anyway, um, right back with that. Get a bot, uh, bag of spare parts. Suction cups, feet, two, and bolts. two feet, three suction cups, and three bolts. <laughs> Hope you don't need any more than that. Okay. All right. Okay. Step two: attach upper crossbars to keyboard tray supports, 4L and 4R, using medium bolts. Note. The proper alignment of all bolt holes are shown above. Tighten medium bolt C with wrench A, which you get right here. Okay, these are all bolt C's. screws that's to put these in oh ain't this gonna be sneaky the extra long screws have to hold one of these on each no two on each yeah so the extra long screws are holding this, this, and one of these at the same time. You gotta build three pieces at once. So, where do you want your keyboard, honey? Alright, let's keep going here. Okay. So, um, we do have holes drilled here for something. Um, oh. Just hold on. Oh, no, that's for the suction cups. So they go up. That's for suction cups. We're okay. Yeah, sure. Guaranteed. The suction cups have to go four of them on there. Yeah. So that's suction cup holes. I think, look. Yep. Okay. So, 
can go to the okay. back and you can start. Coordinated effort here. <laughs> Alright guys, pay real close attention because it's not in your manual. They do not tell you how to do this. It'll drive you mental like it has us until we actually kind of took a real close look at things. So this is your keyboard slider, one of them, okay? You got two to deal with. You have to open this all the way and you'll see a little plastic tang on this side. And you gotta pull down on that tang because it is plastic and then just carefully push things apart and it comes apart. And it comes apart. Now you'll be able to put and screw everything together right. You put one on the frame and you put yep. one on the keyboard tray. Yep. And then when it's, it's all assembled, then you just slide the keyboard tray frame and everything yep. onto. And then you and just... And it should re... To reassemble, you just line everything up right on here like so. And if you do it right... And it relocks. It relocks. So then it's... Because this bearing still has to be able to slide back and forth. So, closed position. Open it up. Turn it this way. Pull on the little tabby. Little plastic thing here. Yeah. And that's it. She comes apart. And it releases. And it releases. And Fall in up. the manual, it does say, keyboard tray slider. Note, the, this piece comes pre-assembled for shipping purposes and must be disassembled to complete the desk assembly. But, but, but they, they do don't. not say how. That is a downfall. That should be explained well, in the manual. Whoever wrote the manual at the China factory had better straighten that out for people. Or, yeah. hey, send everybody you know to this, to, to uh, Susan's channel, to assemble this, because it's the only way they're going to figure out how to take that apart. Yep. Okay, so... One part of the tray slider goes on the tray frame, and the other part of the tray slider goes on the tray support. And those things are, are greasy, by F. the way. They are really, yeah, they're greasy. They're but very greasy, but do not spray them down with alcohol or degreaser. You'll no. muck up the bearings. No, you want them um, greased. You that's, want them that's greased why. so that they go quiet and smooth all the time. If anything... Just wipe down the, the, ex the, the this thing with uh, like a paper towel. Yeah. But you got to keep as much grease on there as you can so that it's longevity thing here. Okay, so now we have to one at a time, I guess. Oh yes. Is take it apart and put the 
pieces so. on the tray frame that belong on the tray frame. Now. And the other side of the slider goes on this support. So which side?